Hey everyone and welcome to the CRB where I'm doing another unboxing video for you guys and today we're unboxing a new Street Fighter action figure that I got in and it is this awesome M. Bison H, uh, sorry, SHF figures. I hope I pronounced that right. It is done by Bandai, of course, uh, one of the more high end companies of Bandai uh, doing these action figures. Now, I am a huge Street Fighter collector, as you guys know from here on the channel. Uh, and I'm trying to collect action figures from all the Street Fighter characters, just one of each uh, to showcase all the amazing fighters that have came to the Street Fighter legacy. Uh, and uh, I was able to pick this one up off of Amazon for 129 Canadian. Uh, came uh, from the States. Uh, and I was lucky because these ones are kind of hard to find, uh, especially out in the open here where I live in London. Uh, so places like eBay and stores like uh, online stores like Big Bad Toy Store are probably like the best two places I can go. Uh, so I want to show you guys what you get. So of course that is the front of Bison there. Now it has a little bit of damage on the top as you can see right here, uh, but it's okay because we're going to open it. I want to showcase these figures, uh, but you have the backing. And then of course the side and of course you know, top and bottom, nothing too special uh, as you can see. Uh, of course, this is from Street Fighter V, the game. Uh, so his design is based off of that. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this guy up. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this figure looks like. So uh, I've read some reviews online of, uh, you know, there's some good uh, figures from these uh, from this company and some bad ones. Uh, me personally, my favorites are the um, play arts uh, figures uh, from Square Enix. Those guys, they make some great figures. Uh, you might have seen my my Ken and Guile and Sakura unboxings, uh, but uh, this is the first time. No, I think this might be my second one. I think my Evil Ryu uh, is also from uh, this company, uh, and it's not a bad figure too. But I do really like the Square Enix ones better. Uh, so we open it up, and of course. Oof, Oh, so they even give you an awesome um, background that you can use to showcase your figure. We're not going to use it, uh, but that is pretty cool. And it also has your, oh, it tells you how to take apart the, the face. You have your instructions in there in the back, uh, which we'll probably look at later. I don't need them right now, but. So, you got your figure that looks like that. He's a little bit bigger than I thought he would be. Uh, I, well, I was actually hoping for a little bit bigger, but uh, he does look bigger than the box made it look, so that's a good sign. So we're going to pop him open. Just kind of slides up here. Oop. So, of course, this part pops up. And then inside you have uh, your different ways of posing him. Uh, you have his, his uh, psychic evil powers. As you can see right there, he gives you two. You have two extra sets of hands, which uh, I haven't decided how we're going to display him yet. And his evil laughing face right there. Uh, so we're going to be trying to figure out what kind of pose we want to do. Uh, he also has what looks to be a robotic hand. That's weird. Or is that... No, that's his hand. Huh. I'm trying to see. Basically, we have this figure without a hand, and I don't think any hand pieces fit there. That's a weird one. Oh, okay, it's for when you want to have his arms crossed. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on with that. Yeah, so to have his arms locked, you can combine the two of them so his arms stay locked. Okay, that's cool. That makes more sense. Like I said, I still haven't decided how I'm going to pose him, but let's bring out the figure. It's actually easy to get out. Alright, so, put that aside. And we got M. Bison here. Um, not as sturdy as I would have liked it. Like, I like the, like I said, the, the Play Arts one is definitely a lot better. Uh, his pads are basically with a joint on the inside holding it in, uh, but it is very articulate, uh, which is a good sign. So uh, it means you can pose him in so many different and unique ways. Uh, like I said, I haven't decided how I'm going to pose him, but I do want to see. I'm going to take off his face, though. I want to put him with his evil look. So if I can remember how that's done. 
I need to see the instructions here. Alright, so... Looks like his face just kind of slides in there. Alright, yeah, so his face just kind of slides in there. You have a slight opening. I'm gonna put his evil laughing face because I think that just looks more sinister. I like it. That looks a lot better than his more serious face. Of course, the serious face is basically gonna be him on top of the thing, but I just love his laugh, his evil looking laugh to it. Okay, so let's see. We got his fire in his hands. I'm guessing we can just put our hands there. Let's see. The good thing about trying to figure out these figures is trying to trying to place. How would you put the uh, the fireball? I'm just trying to figure out how. I guess that's how we do it. So, right. This is. Well, that's his left. I mean, his right. It's gonna take me some practice to to figure out this guy. Hmm. All right. So, oh, did I have it? No, I think I had it. Didn't I? It is tricky to figure out this guy. But all in all, I haven't decided how I'm going to put it, and then I'll show you guys later. But all in all, I'm very, very satisfied with this. Uh, of course, uh, on the bottom, you don't have anything, so you can't put any bases on it. It doesn't have any uh, crevice open, so like that, you can put it. Uh, I am going to buy some of the uh, different uh, Gundam um, bases to put my character, because I think that would be the best way to do it. I, I don't like to have these guys without uh, something holding them down. Uh, it just, you know, it just makes it look like a more of a high-end toy. Um, whether or not I think this is better than my other ones, I think my, like I said, I think the Play Art series is a better uh, one, but these are still such very cool figures, and it's not like it's very easy to find Street Fighter action figures anywhere, actually. Uh, so, if you guys are interested in it, I highly suggest you do go right now on Amazon and buy yourself one. Uh, because they are going to be going out. I think the last time I checked, they only had three left of these guys. Uh, so if you guys are a huge Street Fighter fan like I am and are collecting these action figures, then you need to go and pick that up. But that's all for me, guys, as I go ahead and assemble my figure. Don't forget to check out some of my other unboxing videos here on my YouTube channel uh, because there's, there's, there's a lot of unboxing videos, uh, especially with Street Fighter and Final Fantasy VII uh, figures. But that's it for me, guys. A classic out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more unboxing videos. Take care, guys. And here it is, guys. I got it fully posed and looking awesome. That, of course, is the background that you can put towards your character. Uh, this was the uh, Gundam stand I was talking about. I do need to get a new one because it's not proper for this, so I need to get a bigger one. But for what it is, it holds your figure in perfectly. As you can see, the, the psycho power is perfect in his hands. That's the pose I went with. Now, of course, you can always do your own kind of poses, but I just like the epic poses of the video game. Like I said, guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos, and have a very bison day.